All right, so here's what we've done so far. We've been through um, summary three, talked about some of our alumni, and now I want to talk about um, some of our industry partners. So if you hadn't heard, really good news. Um, this project was just approved. Awesome. Billion dollar project. Okay. You might say, gosh, why, you know, why is it so expensive? But here's, here's a, just a good little back of the envelope calculation for you to do when you're, when you're thinking about your energy tech. So, um, Gordon Butte, <coughs> pump storage. So it's uh, it's 400 megawatts. It's a billion dollars. <laughs> so, how many dollars is that per watt, right? Because, because the, well, why not just just do dollars per watt? What what's it cost? So, um, so if we have one times 10 to the ninth dollars divided by four times 10 to the eighth. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Four would be um, four million would be ten to the six. Four hundred million is ten to the eighth. Um, you know, another easy way to do this. This is uh, watts. So this becomes ten times ten to the eighth, and this is four times ten to the eighth. Uh, what is that? Two and a half bucks. Um, Two fifty per watt. Right? You can do the same thing with your rooftop solar. So what do I want? Do I want to buy uh, electricity from? And now, now the question becomes, so that, that's your um, dollar per watt install. Yeah, now the next question is, well, you know, over time, how long is this thing going to last? I mean, there's still hydro dams in, in England that are 150 years old. Still make electricity. Well, it says here they're going to pump out uh, 1,300 gigawatt hours per year. Thir okay, I like that. 1,300 uh, gigawatt. Oh, 1,300, not thousand. Thanks. 1,300 gigawatt hours per uh, year. And we could we could run through that and see what that average power is. But then, so over time, so here again, here's your power, here's your time. Now, all of that pumping is coming from wind. So, your the so the, the the power coming in is going to look something like this. You know, as as the wind blows, hey, it's really windy, oh, not so much. Oh, the wind just died. Whatever your 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 power going in is going to look something like that. All of this under here is your energy in. The whole point of pumping it uphill is so that, because you know that the power out is going to be different. It's coming along, okay, um, really hot day, air conditioners come on, um, grizz game's on, all the TVs and the fridges are open, what have you. So um, the whole point of the pump storage is so that we can levelize it. So here we're in the black, here we're in the red, but on average, the two um, equal each other, right? Yeah, yeah. But but under both of these curves, this is your energy out. And so, and this thing, it it just it just take it takes wind. Here, let's let's write it out. So it takes wind, which is kinetic energy turns it into um, electricity to pump it uphill then it becomes uh, gravitational potential energy gravitational potential energy and then the whole point is it goes back into um, electricity so that's that's the cycle and, it, and it's sold they're not. They're not ever going to take. They're never going to take raw electric energy from the grid. They're all, they're only going to push. They're never going to pull. Same thing we're trying to do with our energy parks is 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 the point is to make 
make more energy than you use. That's the whole point. Okay. Uh, it's over between Helena and uh, yeah. northeast of Yeah, let's take a look. I, I just look it out on the map. Say what? Pretty, pretty windy area, honestly. Yeah, because the, you know, there was, there was interest in Gordon, there was interest in, in putting in a Yeah, so, um, north, you know, clo closer to Bozeman than, than anything else, but, you know, about equidistant, really, from Helena, Bozeman, and, and Billings when it comes down to it. So, you want to put in a wind farm, but what do you do with all the wind? So, it's got to go somewhere. So, it go, and you, it's not, you're not going to, like, manufacture coal or manufacture oil or make natural gas. And so, and the, and the water resource was there and the natural structure as well. So, um, just uh, make, make, not make gravity, but you know, use use gravity as a storage. So, are they providing energy to the grid and then using the excess energy for the pumping, or is it just for pumping? Good question. Yeah. So when I when I first and I I wish I knew a little bit more about the the, the details of the of the turbine because at first I heard it was a an 800 watt system, and I talked to Carl. He goes, No, it's 400 watts. Well, the way, the way it works, so if you've got, or, or I'm sorry, 800 megawatt, 800 watts. <laughs> uh, if you had, uh, so, you're, you know, so your upper reservoir is here, your lower reservoir is here, and so there's a, um, as you come down, there's a, there's a turbine, and there's also a, um, a pump, and this is, this is very oversimplified, but the, as the water comes down, through the turbine, it's going to spin a generator, and the generator is going to send out um, electricity. The, the pump itself, obviously, is going to need a motor, which requires electricity. So the, this electricity is coming in from the wind. This electricity is going out to the grid. The point is, the, uh, so the pump's, the pump's sending water uphill, the turbine is allowing it to go downhill, the generator sends electricity out to the grid, and the motor powers the pump. So you have those four distinct technologies. And they work in tandem in such a way, the, the, the pump itself, the pump motor combination is 400 megawatts, and the turbine generator system is is also 400 megawatts, so it can pump and generate at the, at the same time, but you're never going to get out more than 400 megawatts. So it, so the point is, it can it can make electricity as fast as it's coming in, but but no faster. You know, it it could be that the generator is a little bit bigger than the pump, but the but the whole point is, you don't want to ever overflow the system. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it, it gets tricky. But um, the, the point is, I, I heard it was an 800 megawatt system, but I think the point is the uphill is 400 and so is the downhill. They're, they're equal. Yeah. That's kind of tough then, because don't you think they kind of cancel each other? You could just produce the same amount of energy with the wind? You know what I'm saying? You could produce the same amount of ener energy as the wind. In, in fact, you the will, wind. because first law of thermodynamics, you, never, you know, your out's never yeah. going to be more. But but the whole the whole point is to, is to is to um, oh to even out the peaks and the dips. So yep. You can't control when the wind blows. You oh, can control the water. Oh, I see, but you can always have that gravitation. Yeah. And the water oh. reservoir acts as a giant natural battery, using yeah. gravity to generate more electricity. And the peak needs. That's really interesting. Yeah, and this is the this is the simple part. Yeah. <laughs> the hard part is now you've got to sell this to the grid. And you've got to, you know, you've got to sell it on what, what's now the spot market. So is it competitive? Very competitive. So, like right now in Butte, you know, at Northwestern headquarters, they're making fourteen hundred trades a day 
like every, every few minutes a uh, a new a new spot market wow. opens up so they're they're trading constantly because Northwest Energy is just the middleman they're just sitting between mm -hmm. you know natural or engineered systems like this and the the rate payer mm -hmm. so yeah okay so I am going to email Carl Borquist I've already congratulated him. I haven't heard back from him. Let's just do this. Uh, so, would you guys be working to basically sell that energy and create to Northwestern Energy? Say again? Would you basically be selling that energy to Northwestern? Would Absaroka? I just mean the energy that you produce from the Gordon View Power Storage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gordon. It's yeah. So it's so Absaroka Energy is the um, oh, engineering okay. firm, and yeah, they will. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, it's like, well, who really owns it now? Did did Absaroka Energy have a billion dollars sitting in the bank? No. You know, some somebody else with a billion dollars sitting in the bank. Private investor. Yeah. You know, said, oh, this this is going to pencil. This is going to work. You guys, you guys build it, and oh, and by the way. We need that billion dollars back. Yeah. So, <laughs> same, you know, same way with you know energy in, energy out. The same, the same thing has to happen with the mm -hmm. uh, with the financing. How, how long do you think it would take? How long do you think it would take to build? You know, um, I'm I'm guessing they get this built in about five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think they've. Um, Oh, you found those those uh, numbers are perfect. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see the data of efficiency of this system next to a, a coal plant. Coal well, this this system will be about eighty five percent efficient. That's, That's cool. cool. Yeah, That's you know, cool. it's 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 about you know eighty five ninety percent. <laughs> the um, you know the the wind turbines themselves have have a maximum theoretical efficiency of fifty seven. But then once that, um, you know, there's line losses, but once that electricity is in, in, the, um, in the lines, those, those pumps and motors, they're, you know, they're 85, 90 percent efficient. And, and with the, the wind farm, you can always make more investments in more turbines, so the limiting factors are only um, relative to the amount of wind turbines and generators? Well, the, the, limit, the limiting factor here is going to be the size of the pipes. You can't, you're not going to be able to pump water uphill any faster than the, than the pipes are big. Right. Uh, but you can imagine this, this type of thing replicating itself. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see, I, I thought I had a nice um, email for Carl. Yeah, let me see if I can find it here. So these are, these are my little TechSmith emails saying my, my recording worked. Oh, my geology buddies all excited. We're talking about getting back to work. Good. But they're all patrolling geologists. So, drill, baby, drill. Oh, yeah. I'm the only one that seems to have gotten out of that. Yeah, my own house. My uncle and cousin were um, working with the oil companies down in Utah. I always seemed like the. Oh, Borg, I forgot the, the G. Against that sort of operation. It was so easy having a job before you graduate. I mean, you can't say no to that. But then after being out there for six years, like, I was just so disgusted with it. Yeah. That's why I ended up getting out and coming back to school for climate change. Yeah, it attracts some real winners out there. The oh, years. gosh. <laughs> Definitely an interesting bunch out there. We call them roughnecks for a reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, let's just do this one. Yeah, the Roughnecks never liked us because we always had an AC heated office with movie channels and oh, nice goodness. chairs, you know? And then they'd be outside cleaning or 120 degrees or minus 30 degrees. And we're oh, all yeah. warm and cozy. <laughs> I can imagine. Especially if you're rubbing in. <laughs> You try not to, but some people you gotta do it because those guys are a <coughs> holes. So you gotta make them feel bad. You're all warm you up, get angry at me. No? <laughs> yeah, the cold feels just like the wild west. 
I'm done with it though. Well, everybody wants to strike it rich. Uh, Cost me a family. No thanks, I'm done. <laughs> Okay, so here are several of my industry contacts. So I, I know I've got it. Hmm? Well, the more I'm involved with Excel, the more I'm starting to work with it. Yeah. It, it so, looks like it can be very useful. So I'll, I'll fire that out to um, Carl. There's another guy I want to get in touch with. Let me see if I've got. Um, Bozeman Green Build. So John Palm, he's going to do the um, install over at um, Bozeman Green Build, over at the um, West Campus. So I'll, I'll show you another grant that my, this is the grant that um, West Campus is that out by Big Sky? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're, you know, typically this campus is called East Campus, and then West Campus is where welding and carpentry oh, okay. and equipment yeah. is. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. um, so there's John Palm. I want to make sure he gets invited. And then um, a few other folks. We're going to uh, make sure here. So there's um, uh, Terry Tatsy. Let me find him. So he's right at the top of the list. Um, Terry was one of our, he, he actually was um, instrumental in getting the, the first platinum lead building built on a tribal college. I'll show you that guy. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Um, math and science building. Oh, there's Terry right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ter Terry's uh, now a uh, tribal member or a council member with, with the tribe, and one of the things we've been discussing, in fact, is building small wind turbines up up there on their property. They've got a little industrial park and. Um, Kind of a sad story, but they had a, a lead pencil factory up there for a while before the true damages of, of lead were known. A lot of the um, people working in the, up there with some, you know, pretty nasty cases of lead poisoning. But uh, we'd love to turn that into a turbine factory, a wind turbine factory. So he's another industry partner. Um, these guys are, are pretty good to know. Also, uh, Carl Little, Dale Horton down at the uh, National Center for Appropriate Technology. I don't, I've had a few students apply for positions there. I don't think anyone's um, ended up actually um, working there. The Montana DEQ, Kathy Montgomery, has been a big proponent of, of renewable energy uh, grants. So there's a, there's a whole set of grants out there. I'll show you the... What is it? The um, well, USDA REAP grants. Yeah. Now this might be something that yeah, your going parents are interested in. So they'll, if, you know, if you want to, uh, and these recur, you know, on a couple times a year. So there was a deadline here a couple weeks ago. And there's another one coming up in March, and um, you can either get a grant or a loan, and there's a pretty good group of team to work you through. And they're, they're kind of complicated, uh, but the whole point is, uh, you know, if somebody wants to do a, you know, small wind, small solar, solar thermal, geothermal, some kind of integrated system, these are, these are out there uh, for you. This, in this, um, I'll show you this guy here too. This guy, Brian Jackson, has, uh, he's he's 11 for 11 on writing them. What? Yeah. Wait, he's what? So, you know, like in baseball, you say, I'm batting uh, 400 or I'm batting 300. It's pretty good. Batting 1,000 on the reprints. Every, every single one he's written, he's gotten. Wow. 
It, it's yeah, and he right now. I'll just show you one other thing. It's kind of wild. Microsoft Excel, ready? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and I'm not I'm not giving away any top secrets here, but I'll just I'll just give you a, a peek into this little. Don't share. Don't share. Too bad I'm sharing. 20 bucks, still show you. Yeah. Well, no, that's, we're, we're, out, we're out ahead of them. Uh, that's not it. Uh, let me see if I can find One thing that I've been get, kind of getting interested in is like the biomimicry of energy. Yeah. Like alternative energy sources. You yeah. Know? Like I thought that was pretty interesting stuff. But those are all like futuristic kind of ideas versus like where solar and wind is now. Yeah. I don't know if this. Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to give you the 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 speed tour on this guy, but. Um, So here, here's an example of a spreadsheet. Wow. That's, it's so, huh? Yeah. It's, um, it's so, it's 50, so there's 50 tabs. Yeah. You know, and each, each, each tab has approximately 10 assignment threes in it. <laughs> <laughs> when you get down to it, but th you know, this is, this is the, um, you know, getting down to the nitty gritty of you know what all of the different uh, systems go they're going here. Most most of these numbers don't don't mean anything, but just kind of showing um, what the what the what the throughputs are for a for a big project. So because realistically, if you showed anyone this, like a normal person, they would just glaze over. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? no. Like, the communication part between like the energy side, yeah. not just energy, but like with like the educated like. Communication to like the normal person, yeah. there's a big gap. Yeah, but you know, I mean, really, what it, what it still comes down to, it just it just comes down to something like this. Just showing how. And the things that we talked about in chapter 12. You know, what's what you know, what's it cost per watt? What's what's the payback? When am I getting the money back? So. Yeah. 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 So carry on. Don't dismay. You'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you Tuesday, and we'll just we'll get into chapter thirteen. Four four lectures left. Get your uh, stuff turned in, and we'll go. Yeah. So is the um, final exam going to be in like online at home exam too? The final exam, you can come in. I'll give you a hard copy if you want, or you can take it um, pencil paper. Uh, however you want. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know it's a hy hybrid course, so the, yeah, the, in the final, the, the, the final is a bonus. If you remember from the syllabus, the, the final exam will only count towards your grade if you want it to. Awesome. I want to take yes. It's it's a it's a final that helps you improve your grade if you need help with your grade. The way they yeah. Yeah. Can only help. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, enjoy the holiday. I will. Thanks. You too. See you, Tyler. Yeah, cool. Have a nice break. All right. See you, Kat. <laughs>